Oh man, I I remember to take my schizo pills today. I don't know, we're playing Red Flood. Let's give or take with this. I'll tell you though, I'm ready to read about very, very vague historical leaders and their, their somehow pilgrimage to converting to accelerationism. I still, I still don't know what it is. I still don't know what it is. If you could tell me, I'd, I'd appreciate that. So I can make fun of it more. <coughs> Let's just cut that. And also cut it here. Hello everybody, I am the Curious Con Man. And today we're playing Red Flood. Two steps forward, one step. No, actually it doesn't say. Well, we are playing Red Flood. And yes, that does mean that we are ready to go watch some ridiculous people. Some pretty cool people. We got Kolchak. Ooh, we got Anton Adard. We got Paul Levy. And of course, Josef Blisutki. Yes, in the world where Franz Ferdinand is still alive, we have decided to embrace the true ideology of accelerationism, or at least a considerable amount of the population. So, <clears throat> well, today I decided that I'm going to play someone a pretty cool, pretty ball. Well that person. Is Italy. Yes, yes, Germany got updated, but you know, I played them last time, and what, they just got their, oh, I'm gonna be German, I'm gonna be Poland again, ha ha, ho funny, ha ha. Italy, though, Italy, though, is the funny one here, because Italy can truly embrace liberalism and kill everyone who isn't liberal. I mean, that's awesome. So, in pursuit of our true, true identity as being a liberal, I've decided to play Italy. Yes, this has nothing to do with the hype surrounding By Blood Alone DLC. Not at all. I'm totally not going to put Mussolini and By Blood Alone logo in the thumbnail. Gosh, I love the, uh, I love the uh, GFX and the user interface so much. Yes, welcome to What If World War One Sucked for Everyone and Russia Lost the Russo-Japanese War, because of course... Italy. So Italy is a place of many opportunities, and with the upcoming election, it certainly means that there is plenty of opportunity for us to become just so much more special. As you can see, the starting position for Italy is that we have 46 factories, approximately, space to expand, and, of course, wonderful 20 divisions. No, we are not at war with Ethiopia because, well, we took Ethiopia a long time ago, obviously. Ah, uh, call me an accelerationist fanboy, but... You can't be too mad about <clears throat> the world of Red World. It just has such a, especially with the uh, <clears throat> music, it just has such a unique flavor that you can't help but, but like it. Wonderful things. Oh, it does. Ah, uh, yes. Democratic. What does it mean to be democratic? But Italy has become a one-party state for the mere sake of anti-extremism. What has it been achieved? It is only allowed for corruption and cronyism to grow. These reprehensible things are rife within the party, and many among you- <laughs> That actually is... <laughs> pretty funny! How can there be someone looking into the hands of the ruling and safeguarding the interests of the minority in a country with no real opposition? Things are getting heckling. And... He outed them as undemocratic and corrupt. What just happened? I don't know. Oh, the uh, the conservatives left the PDIU and joined the Lisa Nation. Yeah, with uh, lots of fun people. All right, don't click off yet. We now have the fun to do. The PRI wins the elections because I'm conservative. What is disgusting? Party radical. Partito radical. Sorry. I'm studying German and I speak Spanish, so you know. Oh, I don't speak Italian. Incident in Venice. I swear to God, I just wanted the I just wanted the cool guys in power, please. Oh, look, it's Franz Josef II. That's crazy. Absolutely no wacky business going on here. I reassure you. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Austria, what the hell happened? An incandescent majority. Yes, a stellar campaign in social liberalism. That is awesome. We now have Francisco Nitti. Because, you know, looking rather... Uh, that chunkiness? That's true liberalism. You gotta be big like that when you're carrying the entire working class. Oh! Uh, uh, uh. Ooh. Right. Hi, Kishi. Long time no see. Uh, my fellow citizens, today I'm proud to say that the government of this kingdom has approved my 15-point plan to secure the future of the country. Wonderful. How is the UK doing? Socially conservative. Interesting. Interesting. The... Uh, yeah, everyone seems to seems to have a bit of uh, economic troubles right now. Especially America, I wouldn't uh, <laughs> be looking at this. 
Let's just say, huh, his 15 point plan, they're all seven days, and there is a lot of them. More than 15. So we can finally have breath. Oh, hey everyone, they fixed his teeth. How wonderful. Don't worry, boys, I'm deciding to spend the time by sending a couple guys around the globe. You know, there's a lot of wars here, and I definitely want that sweet, sweet army XP. Even though you mostly get army XP from this. Alright, step one. Influence the world through your heavily modernized military to especially crush silly syndicalists. Because I don't want anyone helping out this big guy or this big guy. So I'd rather have, even though my quest is for world democracy, guys like the oligarchy, you know, kind of take the lead. Oh crap! Step two, pacify your colonies so that well, I'll take the civilizing mission a little bit more seriously. No matter how hypocritical it is. Oh, now this, this is exciting because, you know, I think I can mess around with this lore a little longer so that I can maybe come in and go, you know, if you, if you get what I'm trying to, trying to say. Ah, and of course, we're being a little bit wholesome with the Libyan here by not only agreeing to all their demands and giving them money and stuff. Yeah, so, not nah, that was part of step two. Step three, make sandwiches, of course. Well, not exactly. Basically, we gotta make bread, which is agriculture and finance. So you see, Italy, well, we're kind of getting up there in the world, wouldn't you say? See, we promise not to Christianize them, and look, we are huge. Don't worry, Italian credit will no longer be an oxymoron. And also, look at this, Karl Popper. You gotta say, socialism ain't looking too bad. For example, they got there was a woman here previously, I was gonna make it. They got all the bitches joke, but you know. Maybe that's a, maybe that's a little distaste. Anyways, you know who does not have bitches? Russia. They have civil war, the next best thing. Oh man, I am single-handedly winning this Brazilian war. Not so much the Bolivian one, let's not talk about that, but let's talk about the social reform I like to do. Finally, a sustainable surplus with no overproduction or overexportation, and of course, our desert of a banking system is not a desert anymore. We have bread, and we're getting rid of that terrible, terrible financial crisis. I'm glad you sticked around. Oh, I didn't check down here. How we go? Of course, I am the guy in the middle of nowhere. So how about we just go down here and try and make our way back to the capital, right? Save what we have. At least Paraguay's going well. Right? Our overseas Italian adventures are splendid. Yes, I did send guys to help the monarchy, but Japan was lost cause. Oh, and oh, that is a lot. Yeah, we're doing welfare stuff. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Roads! Oh, I, I built all the roads, my bad. Oh, roads lead to, wow, Catalo- Oh, hey, well, there we go. what I tell you? I won that single-handedly for them. Guess maybe I should have intervened in Spain a little bit more. We did it, Needy. We saved Brazil. We did, we did not save Brazil. Oh, good Lord, what happened to him? I don't <laughs> do the right thing for foreign policy led to the and Slavic Defense Council of Brazil. I am so, so sorry. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Hey there, Mussolini. <laughs> God damn it. Ladies and gentlemen, I have an idea. While well, we're just chilling, this isn't like your regular railroaded game. This is Red Flood, which allows you to do all sorts of fun shenanigans while playing the really cool story. See? Exactly. So I don't need to use cheats. Let's quickly invade Greece because, yeah, I want to for shits and giggles. Because they're uh, totally not democratic. This is like, what, step four of my plan to dominate the world and make it everyone speak Italian? And while that shenanigans happens, I'm going to quickly just invade and conquer all these peoples. And uh, Italy. I mean, we, we've done it before, great, so, you know, why can, we can't come in a second time? You're trying to tell me only naval, naval engagement and we lost two ships? Well, I hate to break it to you, but in this universe, the Italian nation is not a pushover, and I, I'm going to be honest with you, I don't, <laughs> I feel like we're just like, all right, what's a wholesome modern government we can do? can justify colonialism by actually doing stuff. That's good. What? Who the hell is that? Oh, no, 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 you gotta be shit. I hate to break it to you, ladies and gentlemen, the war has not specifically come to Italy's advantage. Well, don't worry, we've survived this before. 
You remember, uh, you know, Croatia in the last video where it got invaded by Serbia and Romania. Uh, don't worry. So the strat right now, Mussolini, or actually, you can't not Mussolini, Nitty. Mussolini is chilling right there. So Nitty right now is pitching to his generals. Right, so we're not going to do anything up here, but we're going to capitulate Greece as fast as humanly possible. Come on, we only got, we're so close, guys. Please, for the love of God, take Ismir. But yeah, uh, uh, okay, 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 we're just gonna, uh, uh, take all states because, I don't know, screw you. And then, oh boy, I don't call it an encirclement, I call it a fun for the whole family challenge, alright? A challenge that's gonna infuriate the hell out of- See, now, we have been pushed back ever so slightly, but I ignore that. We have been pushed back, but we are holding steadily, and, well, we can certainly break through their lines. Very easy, I can reassure you. I, I, I swear. Uh, the, the, um, the Italians, uh, they went, uh, nowhere. Um, my plan, as I was, don't look at that, as I was saying, was that, why do I have no oil? Is it because they, they're being sunk? Is, okay. Well, can I take my actual guys to combat that and, you know, protect my rating so I can actually not get- die and get some oil? After a splendiferous tactical retreat, we went through this hole. We are now holding sufficiently. I didn't diagnose that the problem is we have no oil! No oil. Generic noise. And so, to remedy this issue, I am going to have to, uh... Use my oil to go through here, yada yada. Tell them don't go through here because it's not safe. And instead, I would like for us to go get some oil from some bitches like the Dutch East Indies. Or America, even. Can I go around America on the tip? Nope. Okay. Where is the Dutch? Right. Okay, what the hell? And to think I wanted to go to war with the Ottomans. Uh, frankly, I, it's getting a bit infuriating. I see no reason why I can't go all the way to the Dutch East Indies and steal their oil. Trade influence my arse. I'm improving relations. Okay, some battles were not exactly winning. A lot of battles were not exactly winning. I might need to pull the... Oh, Christ. Okay. <clears throat> well, um... I like to think that maybe this run was a bust. I can always go back to mid-Italian invasion. We're done when I say we're done. Okay, so our our process has been very ever so slightly delayed. Just a small amount. Ernest Rahm, good to see you there, my gay Nazi friend. Um, so we're just gonna go right back to here. Which we can certainly manage. Now that I'm aware that Fume is gonna come after my ass, maybe it's a good idea that... I just rush Greece. I don't need to do anything else. All right, this time we are ready. I have this army. I just decided, you know what? Let's not test it. I'm ready for anything they throw my way, particularly the fact that I want to, you know, crush Greece rather quickly. That's a uh, of paramount importance. But this time we won't have a huge gaping front to deal with. And in fact, look at that. I'm going to encircle them because they are such silly billies. All right, round two, another boogaloo. Take that. Great, wonderful, splendid. Now we can move the entirety of my red army forces to combat accelerationist threat or something like that. Then we can go after Turkey once they go after Armenia and all that fun stuff because yay, how the hell this guy who definitely doesn't appear to be from Terranian, lead fume is beyond me. They're accelerationists. I, I'm not supposed to question any of them. See, now we're even winning naval engagements because I got that sweet, sweet oil, which is running out. But don't worry, we're building synthetic oil experiments. I'll tell you what, it is funny, though. Is, uh, so, so over here, I guess I'm trying to do the old replace and wear down tactic. You know what I mean? Because frankly, I don't know how, how else to do that. I had limited resources to begin with. Well, I can blame whatever. I know I could have managed this better. Anyways, so we're doing that. I have a lot of infantry, but they also are very undersupplied in the north here, so I am attempting major gains. I might say, why are you attempting gains when you can't even defeat Fiume? Well, that's a good thing. The answer is, I don't care. Shut up. All right, here's my genius tactic. Uh, I didn't expect them to actually have many guys here. Uh, 
But you know what? I'll happily take that and I'll happily place a happy little port right there. You guys can hold for... You guys can hold, right? Oh, all it took was for me to masterfully pin them. I keep forgetting how to pin the reinforcements. I don't know, that was kind of a... That was a kind of goof on my part. Anyways, uh, I'll do that. We do have a little bit of a push, a little bit. I guess, and what am I, what am I missing here? Is it because I forgot? I'm forgetting a lot of things. Maybe I should have gone fives. Look, they're attacking me. Finally, that means they're scared. That means they don't know where we're gonna go. So you see that little fancy striped tank? I'm gonna re-attack and pin them. And I'm gonna take these guys up here. And finally, finally, this stupid looking goofy head is gonna die uh no i'm just bringing these uh, capital ship and stuff over here just so they can you know shore bombardment them which would be nice and lovely i know it says i'm losing now but if i keep up the pressure they won't be able to reorg oh 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 oh, oh. did i get it i got the capital <sighs> finally now we can focus on What's important? Turkey! Of course! The Supreme- Ah, uh, sorry, not- This isn't Turkish Republic. I would love the Turkish Republic. This is the Supreme- Sublime Ottoman State. Which, of course, I do not respect. Why did you want the Armenians so much, hmm? Well, the Kavaz Society, when my Uncle Murphy, from the looks of it, decided that they wanted it more. Don't worry. I hope you enjoy being a down. Uh, okay, well, good sir, you might be asking, why did you decide to invade the Ottomans? That seems to be a bit of a distraction for this. And that's a very good question. Well, the answer is quite simple. Oh, before I get to why I invaded, ho, ho, ho. This certainly not only complicates things, but makes things a whole of a lot easier. Uh, let me just pop that and that. That must be easy. The right reason? Oil, baby. What do you mean? This is what I, idiot, mean. So, because there is oil here. There's oil. I want oil. And, well, uh, this will be a brutal, this will not be a brutal war. Glorious. But, but, so I just thrashed the league, quote unquote. I think I'd like to do more than just thrash a few people, right? I'm not the thrashing kind of guy. I'm the destroying kind of guy. You know, this is a cool super. I'm going, yeah, let's just not. This is in the last video I got demonetized because of that. I had to cut that out to a lot of people. I just wanted some dang steel, right? Please, I just, I just want my steel. And so finally, voila. I have my beautiful Italian empire, I mean, wholesome liber king, liber liberal kingdom. Yay! See, that counts, right? Nee. Ah, real proud of you, bud. Now, about this whole turkey thing, that's great and all, but Turks, more like mountain Italian. Nah, I, I don't have an explanation for this. I just wanted to do it for shits and giggles. <laughs> yeah, I should know my explanation is Baku oil. <laughs> Sorry, I just, uh, I like oil. You know, I'm playing a western nation, you know, a western imperial nation, you know, when you see oil, you just go, whoa, ooga. Oh, what was that? Finally, my... <gasps> I have a truce. Oh, I have a war goal, but I gotta wait till yippee. Why on God's earth is the UK... <sighs> I'm gonna have to fight Farouk, aren't Oh, boy. <laughs> that is crazy. Well, how, how are you not at war with the... Okay, this is ridiculous. Oh, one more thing. This is step seven? Nine? I don't know. I lost count sometime, when I sometime between invading Turkey, Azerbaijan, and winning the war against France. Anyways, yes, we are finally going to settle things here and have a clean butt cupboard go all the way to our mountain Italian territories, also known as Greeks. So, waltz right into, uh, Bulgaria, Bul Barbagjib, okay. <sighs> Got a lot of guns in that, yada, 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 yummy, 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 take all that, take all this, how lovely. That is just great. You know what? I am happy with that, but <sighs> we're not, 
We're not done yet, and uh, no, all of this has just been my own volition. Nothing in the focus is. Oh, great moogly googly. We <laughs> finally get another research slot and almost completed this tree. I have no idea how many more trees there are. Yada, yada, yada. Victor Emmanuel, that guy was short as hell. You should have seen his wife. Tall. I'll just leave it at that. Yeah, so we have done that. Now we are doing Universal Franchise. What? You're trying to tell me that all everybody within our territories has a right to vote over 18? Holy shit! And that's where I'm gonna have to cut it off for today. Thank you so much for watching part one of my epic Italian adventures in Red Flood. It's so surreal saying it. Thank you so much for watching, and don't worry. Tomorrow or the day after or someday soon, you'll get part two. I just gotta edit it. Just, this, this was a lot of footage, trust me. But, what about patrons? A very special thank you to Stepin, Aaron Moon Unit, A Tony at Law 2021, Moonwalking Roosevelt, Org Zone 25, CSP 6, 7, and 9. Thank you all to being wonderful Patreons to my community, and I wish you all a wonderful evening.